Mark McGowan from the Department of History at the University of Toronto and I'm here at the quarantine station at Gorosil, about 40 kilometers northeast of Quebec. It would have been at this point that uh, Irish uh, and other passengers uh, would have to disembark in 1847 and 1848 so that they could be cleared of any infectious disease and then move on into the interior. Unfortunately, many died on this island suffering mostly from typhus, which left uh, another casualty of the famine migration and that was orphan children. Uh, it was recorded that there were approximately 702 orphan children uh, that uh, landed in this uh, sailing seasons of 1847-48 uh, in Quebec and these children would be moved uh, to be placed with families in the Quebec area in La Pinière, uh, in uh, Remouski and then downriver again to Montreal. Um, one of those orphan children actually was a, a young uh, Church of Ireland girl by the name of Margaret Conlon. Uh, her family died entirely en route. Uh, she was the only one left and was taken in by the Lord Bishop of uh, Montreal. Uh, she was then picked up by an uncle and uh, delivered to his farm uh, in Upper Canada just north of Toronto and from there Margaret Conlon married, had a family and died just outside of Hamilton uh, uh, sometime later. Uh, but she has left descendants today including one in northern British Columbia who now has a complete picture of her family and uh, that family story in Canada began here at Grosseal.